Also a deadly hit and run with some new evidence that's really hard to believe. Yeah, video shows the suspect get out, check on the victim, and then just drive away. Fox 35's Kelsey Cairn shows us the video police hope cracks this case. Here on Point Sienna Drive, right near the intersection here to State Road 535, FHP says a driver ran into that bicyclist, hit him, and left him for dead. Now, we know this crash happened almost a month ago, but new this evening, FHP released that video from the day of the crash. Take a look at your screen right now. Seen here on surveillance video, a driver running back to his car after pulling over. Troopers say this guy may be responsible for hitting and killing that 48 year old on a bike on February 12th. The man sadly died of his injuries days later on February 23rd. Now I want to show you that video slowed down one more time. FHP says this silver Hyundai Elantra should have damaged the front right side of it. You see that driver get right back into his car and drive away. Fox 35 spoke to a man who works in the area who was concerned that this alleged hit and run driver is still on the loose. Hopefully we can do something. So hopefully we can change something in this area. I want to make a home to my family. I know everybody else wants to make, you know, do the same thing. So. Yeah, it certainly is concerning for anyone who lives and works in this area and drives along this intersection. FHP says if you have any information, if you're watching this at home right now, if you have any information that could lead to an arrest, please give them a call. Reporting in Osceola County, I'm Kelsey Cairns, Fox 35 News.